So I'm going to go in with my face today and start off with this Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm as a primer. And I like to rub this in until it sort of gets like a tacky feel to it because it helps my makeup stick really well. And then after that I'm going to go in with a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and just fill in some of my pores. That's why I'm only putting it like right in the middle of my face. And then today's foundation I am using the CoverGirl Outlast Foundation. And I'm just going to buff that all into my skin everywhere just to give myself some nice coverage. And then for concealer, I am using the Maybelline Master Drama because I wanted some really full coverage today. And this concealer is really thick, so it worked perfect. It did the job well. And I'm just going to put it everywhere. I normally do Cupid's bow nose, um, forehead, under the eyes. And I do bring it up onto my lid as well. And after that's all blended in, I am using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder to set everything in place. And now for the eyebrows, and ta-da! They are finished! I did skip that just because it takes me so long to do. And today we are using the Naked Smoky Palette. This is my favorite as of right now. It is fabulous. I can't have enough good things to say about it. And so I'm going to go in with this lighter brown shade. And these shadows are very pigmented, but since this shade is really light, you do have to build it up. So here I'm just putting this in my crease as a transition shade, and I'm just blending away. Blending, blending, and more blending, and just packing on that color um, to get a really nice payoff for a transition shade. And then into this like grayish sort of color, I'm just going to do the same thing um, right on the outer corner and then into the crease. And we're just layering colors here to give a nice smoky effect because if you, the key to achieve a smoky eye is to layer colors because if you just try to put a black on your eye and blend it out, it's not going to work. So we're just layering colors here and then just blending everything out really well so that way we do get that like smoky blown out effect. And then I'm just going to do that to the other eye as well. I can't say to blend enough. Seriously. Blend. You'll, you'll see in this video how much I blend. And the next I'm going to go in with this like dark navy blue color and this is going to be like my outer corner dark color you know bringing it a little bit in into the crease just to darken everything up and I'm using this just on a little bit of a smaller blending brush for a little bit more precision but I'm basically doing the same thing as I was doing with the other two colors just really focusing it on that outer corner and bringing it just a little bit onto my lash line so that way we don't have any gaps on the outer corner. And again, just blend everything together. Everything. These looks can be super frustrating sometimes. I know I struggled a lot with them at first and I'm still not the best at them. But I'm serious when I say like the key is to blend. Like you cannot blend enough with looks like these. And if you just keep blending, I promise you will end up blending everything out. And it will look like a smoky eye like you're trying to achieve. So for the lid, I'm going to use this like lighter grayish blue like shimmery color. And I like that this doesn't have that much of a color payoff because it's perfect for a lid color on a smoky eye because it just gives the lid a nice touch and it's not so dark and I already have small eyes as it is so darker colors on the eyes make your eyes appear even smaller so I like doing my smoky eyes like this um, putting just a little bit of a lighter color on the lid I think it gives a, just a really nice look to it and I'm just packing that on really good and then going in and blending out those harsh edges because we don't want that in a look like this and and then I'm just gonna go in and do the exact same thing again because I did blend a little bit of it away I'm just gonna pack a little bit more on just to give some really good color payoff this is also a nice touch too if you want your smoky eye to be not so matte and you want it to have a little bit of like glimmer and like glam to it this works really well and I am just taking some of that really dark blue color and I'm putting oops out of the frame, <laughs> a really dark blue color and that's what's going on my lower lash line 
and I'm not bringing it all the way in because like I said before my eyes are really small and I prefer not to do it like that and then I'm just taking some black on this like smudger brush and I'm just smudging out that dark blue color and make sure when you're doing your lower lash line you connect it to your outer corner otherwise you'll have a gap and it might look a little bit silly And I am going to go in with some black eyeliner um, just to give some more definition because we do have a dark look going on. I think it adds um, some nice drama to the eyes. So I am going to go in and do that. And for my inner corner highlight, I am using this Candlelight Too Faced highlight just to touch up the inner corners, give a nice glow. And then I am using that for my brow bone highlight as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara and boom, this is the finished look for the eyes. And then we'll move on to the rest of the face. Um, I'm going to go in with some e.l.f. mineral bronzer and I am going to sort of kind of contour. I'm not going to bronze up the whole face. Just try to focus it on the hollows of my cheeks because this look is a little bit more like on the edgy side. And I'm going to do, you know, my forehead, my chin, um, my jawline. And then I am going to go in with some blush. And I wanted a really light color just to give myself a wash because we do have dark eyes. So I'm going with this little peachy color. And then for the highlight, I am using the Candlelight Too Faced highlight for my face as well. And I'm just putting it on the high points of my face just to give myself a little bit of a glow. And then for my lips, I'm going in with um, a nude just a nude lip liner any nude lip liner will work and then I'm going with like a dark cranberry mauvey brownish sort of color this is from the Maybelline color sensational line and then this is the finished look I love how it turned out I think the lips really contrast the eyes in a great way um, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video <laughs> We're never gonna let it go.